so it's been two and a half years since Chippy had her Cushing's disease diagnosis, uh, which in itself took a year um, to be diagnosed. So we, we suspect it's possibly three and a half years. Um, she's currently taking 60 milligrams of Veteral, uh, one 30 mil dose in the morning, one 30 mil dose in the evening. Um, but some of her Cushing's, um, you know, she is 15 and a half years old and some of her Cushing's disease symptoms are coming back. So I'm just going to go through them very quickly. Um, just as a bit of a recap. So first thing, sorry, move your cheese. You can see your eyes. Um, see your eyes. Pity eyes. Pity eyes. Um, skin infections is one of the um later symptoms. So she she gets reoccurring um rashes on her on her feet. And she licks obsessively. Um, little ulcers between the toes. Uh, I'm going to take it over to her neck. She's now losing hair on her mum on her neck. So you can see she's got lots of um, lumps and bumps. And uh, you can see. Oh, it's not a very good camera. All right, stay still, Baba. Bear with me while I get the focus working. Uh, spots and lumps and bumps. Uh, let me see, all oh, skin's baldy. More lumps and bumps. All right, in the playing. Panting, that's another big sign. As you can see, she's panting. It's not particularly warm in this room. Dips, come and sew the tail. Don't lie down. You'll have to ignore she's been for, oh, all right, baby. She's been for a big walk today, so she's not very clean. Let me show you her tail. So she did have a husky tail. Um, it's now down to the bone. Literally, that's the tip of a bone. Um, so she's lost all her hair on her tail. And now we're starting to see discoloration. So, uh, so you can see that it's now going discoloured. I'm really sorry, I don't know what's going on with the focus on this camera. There you go, discoloration. Uh, scaly, dry, stone-like skin. Uh, she's got some more stone-like skin tags on her elbows. There you go, when it focuses in. Um, so they're like stones... Uh, discoloured tags on her skin. Scaly skin. So take you down to her tummy where we first noticed um, something wasn't quite, quite right. She was pot bellied. Um, despite monitoring her diet for a, a year, she remained pot bellied. I'm just waiting for the focus to come in again. There you go. So it's very scaly, uh, snake-like almost. Um, skin, baldy, um, as you can see. This is where we first noticed something was really wrong. There we go. And she lost a lot of her hair, all the tummy. Sorry, baby. Uh, take you back 
to her neck. So as you can see, pretty much losing all her hair on her neck. And she's got clumps of missing baldy patches on her neck. But that said, she's, as I say, pretty much three years after diagnosis. Or two and a half after diagnosis, but three, three and a half years after symptoms. She's still going strong. She's 15 and a half years of age. Um, still drinks a lot, still urinates a lot. Um, and yes, it does take a lot of work. Um, but it's worth, worth it. Tips? Say bye. <laughs> she just wants to go to bed. But, um, so hopefully that's a little bit of a catch up for you. Um, you can uh, live with Cushing's disease. It can be treated, uh, albeit with long term medication. It's not cheap. Um, but you know, it's it's really prolonged her life. It's given a a new release of life. Um, she still goes on three walks a day. Still fairly active. Has a good diet. If you ignore the cheese. Um, so yeah, Cushing's disease update two and a half years.